Thank you, never see What's your neighbor say? Has it ever have, have I told you I love you before? Have you heard me say I love you recently? When somebody by your side is not saying it, please change your neighbor. Change your neighbor. Clap those good hands together for the Lord and take your seats. Take your seats wherever you are. Good, 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 good. Today I'm going to be preaching very shortly. And then we'll see what God will do. We have a major program coming on Friday. 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 This program is going to be cataclysmic. Very the people here, they don't clap their hands or those in the middle there. Cataclysmic program. So everybody who is my son or daughter in the Lord, whatever, you, you come along with me. We are going to Accra College of Education. Right now. In fact, this, this is the way I will know whether you love me or not. Once you don't come, you don't love me. It's a message. But then next, next week Friday, not this one, next week Friday will be our mega church conference with Bishop Ediadi, um, Bishop Emmanuel Entefo, and then Emeritus Bishop James Sir. We want to lift up our hands and just pray for the conference. Father, bless the conference. Bless the, bless the participants. Bless the men and women who will be there. Those of us who will be attending the conference, bless us. Father, once I go to that conference, let me make contact with oil. Let me impart the grace of God, the fire of God, the anointing of God, the spirit of God. Pray, pray. At the back, be a part of the prayer. Don't just lift your hand. Pray the Lord, let, let fire arise. Let wisdom be granted. Wisdom for ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We have prayed. Amen. At the end of the, of the service, I'll show you a video. Um, yeah, I'll show you a video. Or oh, do you have one? Do you have Dr. Bempers on? Show us Dr. Bempers on. Can the ushers do a good job? Can the ushers do a good job, please? Sound. Sound. Glory, 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 my glory, 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 glory. I want to invite you to this mega church web conference hosted by Bishop Eddie Addy. Wow, the date is 26th of April at 6 p.m. 27th of April at 9 a.m. that Saturday and Sunday, the climax 28th of April at 4 p.m. It's happening at the Macarius Church, is legal. The speakers include Bishop James Sa. Bishop Emmanuel Antifo and Bishop Eddie Adi himself. It's about church growth, how the church can grow. You can grow a healthy and a wealthy church. I want to invite every minister, every leader, everyone into ministry. This is your conference. Come there and your life and ministry will never be the same. Make sure you come with all your leaders. I will be there and you must be there also. See you at the mega church conference at the Macarius Church in Slebon Hill. God bless you. Will you be there? Do you have the other one? You have the other one. Wow, what a blessing to come your way this time. It's a blessed time to share fellowship with you. I would like you to give me a few moments of your time. Our generation is blessed with such resources that are incomparable to any other generation. Unfortunately, our results don't tell of the kind of resources that are available unto us. One of the keys to success is your ability to maximize time and also to connect with greater light. When I say greater light, I mean to have role models 
who have gone through the path you are trying to go through and to understand that your future is someone's history. For you to be able to play your role out very well, you need role models. On the 26th, 27th and 28th of April, we have such a great opportunity to join the mega church conference organized by the Macarius Church, I mean, in East Legon Hills. And we're going to have Bishop Eddie Adi, Bishop James Sa, and Bishop Emmanuel Intefo being our facilitators for this wonderful conference. If you're a pastor, you're a church worker, you are a minister of the gospel, up and coming minister, any lover of the work of the ministry, this is a conference to attend. You'll be blessed with such resources from the experiences of these great men of God and the truth of God's word from a kingdom perspective. I can tell you that your life will never be the same again. I will be there and I invite you and your church and your networks to be there. See you there. God bless you. Good. Please tell your neighbor, say, see you there. Tell another neighbor, see you there. But they see you there, no. Will you be there? Are you sure? I, I want everybody, we are all going next. This week, Friday, we are at East, East Accra College of Education. Next week, Friday, we are at the Mega Church Conference. And I believe that God will bless us. Are you excited? Put your right hand on your chest and say, speak to me, Lord. Close your eyes and just pray for one minute. We pray. Speak to me, Lord. Hallelujah. Speak to me, Lord. Okay. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Acts chapter 6, verse number 1. Acts chapter 6, verse number 1. Now, I need... Uh, can these people be quiet at the back? I'm going to be speaking very prophetically to the church and two things will happen. Either you are cut out from what I'm saying or what I'm saying becomes a great blessing to you. So you have to be interested in what I'm saying. You have to listen to what I'm saying. Can you shake your neighbor and say that there's a word coming your way? Anybody who, when I'm preaching, you are not looking at me, you are not listening to me. When you are not looking at me, you are not listening to me. Am I talking to you? Yeah. But I, I believe that this, this word is for the church. And God will speak to you. And if, if you are at the back, make sure that you enter the spirit because sitting at the back is one of the most challenging things if you are a serious Christian you would like to sit at the back all the time no there's, there's something that is one, two, three, four rows that is not at the back I hear in, in those days when the number of the disciples was multiplied, there arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews. Because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. So in those days, the, the church had the Hebrews in the church and the Greeks were in the church which is typical. All churches should have different kinds of people, like in our church. Our church is not, is not an Ewe church. 
it's not an EP church. <laughs> My name is Selassie, but the church is not an Ewe church. It's not a Pentecost church. It's not a church for accounts. It's not a church for guards. But all there are guards in the church. There are Ewes in the church. There are fanties in the church. If the blood of Jesus is potent, if the blood is potent, it can save any culture and every nationality. That's why a church which is full of only one nationality is not a true church. It's not a true church. Or a church with only one tribe. You see, a church built for only hours. It's not, it's, not a, it's not a true church. It's not a good church. It's not a true church. Because the blood of Jesus breaks, it breaks tribal borders. Are you people here? Or the people here asleep? <laughs> That's why under the blood, under the blood, uh, an Akan can marry an Ewe. Under the blood. Because the blood doesn't only save the individuals. It breaks tribal walls. So when in 2024, the knowledge of God is increasing, and we still have a tribe that says that we don't marry from the north, we Christians, we don't marry from the north. You, you see that there's lack of Christian intelligence in that family. And the family is more stuck to tradition instead of the knowledge and the reality of Christ. Because a marriage doesn't spoil because you are married to an account. A marriage spoils because both people are either immature or cannot accommodate themselves or are incompatible or are not Christians. Am I talking to you? Yes. Or oh, I, I, I spoiled the church already? So if marriage comes up and the first criteria is offering or or your day in me, so that when we discover that he's an ewe, hey, Mabna, are you going to need there and fall in how? But you can go and ask Shepherd Sarah. She has been married to an Ayigbeni for some time. She's prettier now, finer now, more blessed now, more spiritual now, more cared for now. I'm preaching. <laughs> zaka, zuko, zaka, zaka. Mary, what are you? Fanti. Ask uh, uh, Apostle Paul that since he married a Fanti girl, now his life, he, he looks more glorified, sanctified, magnified, petrified. All the fights. I'm calling the church. <laughs> so, in the church also, there were Greeks and there were Hebrews, but they realized that, huh? They, they, and there is a member of the Greeks again. It's like the Greeks, you know, they are widows were not given, because every day the church was feeding the widows. You see? But it looks like at the dining hall, the widows of the Greeks 
were not given two, two, two meat. Either, either they give everybody two, two, two meat. Then when it gets to the Greeks, oh, no meat. Or they just put boiled egg on top of the thing. It's like, so the guys became agitated. Let me go straight, my point, otherwise I'll be dancing. Then the 12, somebody said the 12. When the Bible says the 12, the writer of this scripture, when he says the 12, he's expecting that the reader, by now who has gone through Sunday school, knows what we are talking about. So if the reader, you, you don't know the 12, <laughs> to even list the 12, and you have collected your shoulder in the church, proud that the usher shouldn't talk to you anyhow. The usher cannot move you to anywhere. You are, you, are, you are a proud girl. And yet, you see, the, the writer says, then the 12, because he's expected that by now, dear, you will know who the 12 are. I, 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 am, I, am I spoiling the church? So ask your neighbor silently. Say, hey, say Unia, Unia. The 12, no, do you know the 12? Listen, uh, when I, Creepy, help me a little bit. When I, when, when I say do something, just do it. When I say ask your neighbor, do you know the 12? Just do it. Don't, don't make yourself like these things are for children. <laughs> Actually, the kingdom of God, Jesus says you have to be like a child. Like a child is like, go here, go here, go here, go here. If you don't make yourself like a child, you can't be in the kingdom of God. So I say, it's like you, you feel bigger than the instruction. And yet Jesus says that if we can't be like a child, we can't be in the kingdom of God. Please ask your neighbor, do you know the 12? <laughs> the 12 called the multitude. Huh? The 12 disciples. And at this time, at this time, you should know that Judas is not in this world. And there's another person who is now in Judas' church. By now, if you don't know this, please go and join the same church. <laughs> please, if your list of the 12 at this point, Acts chapter 6, still has Judas inside. Please join the safe church. Join the safe church. Join the safe church. I, am I preaching? <laughs> Even if you know that Judas has been replaced and you don't know the name of the re replacement, it's also another problem. That's why I don't understand why you are proud sitting in the church. Not knowing anything. <laughs> I'm preaching no. Yeah. Then the twelve called them other the multitude. The twelve called the multitude. And said, It's not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. In other words, it doesn't make sense that we the apostles every morning we are sharing rice, sharing kinky, sharing jollof in the church. Like, you've come to church and when you come to the gate, I'm holding packs of fried rice and say, here, here. It's, it's, a, it's not a good reason for apostles to leave the word of God and be sharing food <laughs> Somebody say, I hear you, Pastor. 
So you have to understand. You let, 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 let's go. Wherefore, 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 brethren, brethren, look ye out amongst the multitude, and let's find seven men of honest report, <laughs> full of the Holy Ghost. And wisdom. Can you list the point? Point one is what? Honest reports. Honest reports. That your boss will give an honest report about you. Honest report. Full of the Holy Ghost. Not full of pride. Not full of fashion. Fashion that makes you wear a top and the belly, your belly button is showing. The top is here. Crop top. You, you crop the thing. I see, if I'm preaching and you're not listening to me, I don't like what you are doing. Because you know. I know. Give me a microphone. Give me a microphone. You see, she, she, she warned me, but I will not mind it. She warned me. Hey, 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 Esther, come here. She warned me, but I won't mind her. Give Esther a microphone. When a person is preaching and the message is not going, do you know how? Talk it to the microphone. Hold, help her. <laughs> just, just you live, then we'll hold it for you. And the message goes, and those who are listening to the message, yes, they are not paying attention. Yes, the message comes back to you. It and comes hits, back to you. The message comes back and hits your heart. And hits your heart. Yes. Then you know that the people listening, they are not paying. They are attention. not receiving the message. So yes. if you are the preacher, and you are preaching, and the message goes, and it comes back to hit your heart. Meaning. They are Meaning, not paying people are not paying attention. So it means that when the preacher is preaching and the people are not listening, the preacher can know. Yes. How would the preacher know? The thing is, the preacher must focus on his senses. Like, mm -hmm. feel he must focus whilst preaching. So he will feel it. Okay. When they are not paying attention. When they are not paying attention. Please take your seat. So, when I'm preaching and I say you are not listening, I know you are not listening. A little girl, a little girl, a little girl even knows that when a preacher is preaching and the people are not listening, the preacher knows because the thing hits and comes back to you. <laughs> Honest report. Full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom. These are the criteria we need in the church. That when we are looking, he said, look among the church and find seven people. This is the character that we are looking for. Honest report. Honest report is not what you say about yourself. CV is what you say about yourself. <laughs> But a report is not what you say. CV, you write your story. But this one is what your boss says after two years of working with you. When you are proposing to your wife, you have some things you say. But honest report is what your wife says about you five years in the marriage. I'm talking to you. Full of the Holy Ghost. Full of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> where is a church where Christians are filled and full of the Holy Ghost? And wisdom, 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 wisdom. 
Akran wa bin wisdom. And let, let us gather them and give them this work. Let them rather, let them rather be over the sharing of I, I, I hear what I'm saying. Oh, I've lost you again. <laughs> next, next point. But we will give ourselves, we the apostles, uh, we will give ourselves to what? Continually to what? Prayer and pardon. Prayer and so when you meet the apostles, the 12 apostles, uh, what are you expecting from these people? Okay, the people here don't know the answer. After today, when you meet these apostles, what are you expecting from them? Pardon? Prayer and the ministry that they minister the word and they pray to you. Is that right? So when you meet any apostle, when you meet any servant of God, when you meet any prophet or man of God, and you have expectations of them, they are in either prayer or the ministration of the word. An apostle is not an ATM machine. When you have an apostle over your life or a pastor over your life, the things you glean from him is prayer and ministry of the word. <laughs> I can have people visit me in the office and talk to me about problem, problem, problem and the, 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 the time the problem finishes, the solution is to give money and they never ask for prayer. Never ask for prayer. But when you come face to face with an apostle, you need, you receive prayer and the ministration of the word. Uh, you know like my sermon eh? You, you, you don't like it. I'm still preaching from the Bible. Can you imagine that tomorrow morning, Patrick, I dress up nicely, wear my, my trouser, wear my shirt, wear my tie, then I go to Echo Bank. When I get to Echo Bank, then I look for the manager. When I find the manager, then I kneel down and say, he should pray for me. My stomach, I've been having some pain in my stomach for 17 days now. And then I feel that my family, there are some cases and things that are not working. And then my business is not working. So money, that I go on my knees for the manager to pray for me. It, it, is it proper? Why? What happens in the bank? Money transaction. I'm reading a fantastic sermon. <laughs> so when you also come to a church and the Bible says my house shall be called a house of prayer when you come to a church and your first expectation of blessing is not the ministration of prayer and the word but you are coming to cash a check people don't like my son but I'm preaching it People don't like. <laughs> They're coming to cash a check in the church. But we will give ourselves continue to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Next verse. Next verse. Please sit down. Next verse. Next verse. And the same pleased the whole multitude. And they chose who? Stephen. A man. A man. And of. 
So when we are when we are making choices in the church, it's not by who went to university and who didn't go to university. We don't we don't make choices in the church. Uh, uh, okay, this one should be in charge of the choir because she was in Lagos. And this one you can't lead because you, you only went to Appentine Basic School. The choices are full of faith. Huh? And what? And the Holy Ghost. We don't also make choices in the church based on pride. But when you are going to choose in the church, we choose faith. And we choose Holy Ghost. Are you all in church at all? We know how to find a man who has money. Do you know how to find a man who has faith? Kazuko Kalaba. You know how to find a man who will not be a good husband. Do you know how to find a man who has wisdom and the Holy Ghost? That when you see this man and the way he's doing this, he's a carrier of the Holy Ghost. When I look at this one, he has the Holy Ghost. When I look at this one, she has the Holy Ghost. When I look at this girl, she has faith. When I look at this man, he has the Holy Ghost. Do you know how to find such people? Or you can only know a man who cannot, he, he cannot take care of me. <laughs> oh, what do you think about brother so so and so? Reverend, which brother? Oh, brother so so and so. Reverend. <laughs> Reverend. Where is all this car? I knew Odugu. He said, he, he can't take care of me. I, I, am I talking to somebody? <laughs> do, you, do you know how to find a woman with the Holy Ghost? A woman, woman with the Holy Ghost. Huh? Like when you see all this red, white, red, white, red, white, plenty, this red, white, red, white. Do you know how you can select one with the Holy Ghost? Or one with faith. Even the one on your side. Check, please check the one on your side. See, look, look at the face of the one sitting by your side. On your right and your left. See, where well, is he a faith carrier and the Holy Ghost carrier? <laughs> I said, look at the person on your right and your left. Is he a faith carrier and a Holy Ghost carrier? Or, or he has six packs with nice hairstyle <laughs> on TikTok, Snapchat, nice hair, nice shoes, so so dressing, so so dressing, no Holy Spirit, no faith. She cannot look to you and say, you know what? Today might not be okay. But by the faith of God, I know three months from now, something will change. Something will change. Do you know a woman like that? A woman whose husband will go and walk through town. Working, 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 working. And when he comes home, there's literally nothing in his hand. And the man is dejected. And the woman will say, honey, don't worry. Honey, don't worry. My God and your God. Seven months from now, you will be shocked what God will do. Honey, don't worry. Yes. What will you eat? What will you eat? What will you eat? My honey, eat like a king. Eat like a king. It's like a king because I can see that in three months' time something will change about our job. Yes. Yes. That's the that's a woman with faith. Ah, what 
Yamba. Oh. Sale. Meet them in Pesa. We could have Fred Brown copy. Fred Brown copy that. On boy of Busa. Busia is Busa or Busia, whatever. Fred Brown copy. Fred Brown copy because Charlie. Never. It's all quite one for Shamba. What a friend, friend, and it's like the, the woman brings fire into your stress. Oh. I, I, am I talking to somebody? Or, or I'm spoiling the church? Full of faith and the Holy Ghost. Are you here? A husband and wife can, can marry. And when the babies are not coming, the, 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 the man will say, don't worry, my dear. I've seen the babies already. My God. It, it's, it's like, don't give up. God is about to give us babies in this house. I can see our baby girl. I can see our baby boy. I can see our baby coach. I can see the outdooring. I can see the baby dedication. I can see you. It's like you, you, you are a generator of faith and hope and the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. Then he said, Honey, let's pray. Honey, let's pray. Honey, let's pray. Jada bakatada bakubaza. Jadila bakataba. Isomaniaba. Then in your house. What people are fighting about has become a source of prayer in your house. You and your husband, you are praying about an issue that people fight and quarrel and divorce about. And yet you are writing on testimonies. Am I talking to somebody today? You are looking for somebody who has a car. Okay. So Stephen, a man full of faith and the Holy Ghost. And Philip. And Prochorius. And Nicanor. Is that what the name is from? Nicanor. And Timon. Look at the names. And Parmenas. And Nicholas. Nicholas is also there. A proselyte, proselyte of Antioch. This is the squad that was chosen. Whom they set before the apostles. And what they had prayed. They laid their hands on them. Those, those there, are you in the church? Are you in the church? And they, they release the people. They prayed for them and laid their hands on them. One of the things you should long for, long for, is the continual, repeated, laying on hands of your apostle. To always lay hands on your head. Not, not, not the world, not every man of God who your apostle. Some of you, your problem is that you have been everywhere too much. Everywhere. You are everywhere. You have been to Sawam. You have been to Dodoa. You have been here. This prayer, this, this one you have gone. This one you are gone. This one you are there. You have been everywhere. All sorts of people Proper men of God, proper men of God have laid hands on, hands on you. Improper men of God have laid hands on you. Prophets have laid hands on you. Magicians have also laid hands on you. Apostles have laid hands on you. Juju men have laid hands on you. So your head, you see, Thursday we were saying that there's oil on it. We carry something. You, your head is confused because it's a cocktail. The head is a cocktail of proper oil and improper oil. It's like improper fraction. 
It's a zoo of a man of God and a wizard. All of them, all of them have laid hands on your head. Today, every hand that has touched your head, which has introduced a negative fire. If I'm your apostle, I enter into my office and I declare, I cancel the effect now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Cancel. We neutralize the effect and the flow of magicians, wizards, scammers, herbalists, juju, all sorts of people who have laid hands on your head. I'm not talking to somebody. Here, here, please sit down. Here, if you keep coming here and I keep laying my hands on you, you will by all means prosper. Your problem is that you, you come and you just look into my face. And when I, I'm preaching, like the girl is saying, you bounce back the preaching to me. When I preach, you also preach it back to me. When I smash, you smash. When I kick, you kick. When I push, you push. And when I do I and I do volleyball, you say it's no go. to you any those at the back I, I, I in the church anybody who is here why you are here decide 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 that the oil and the grace and the gift and the power that is flowing here is enough for me No correct father puts his children's food in another house. That my children, Nathan and Paula, if they have to eat, they have to leave my house and go to my neighbor's house. Because that's where I put the food. Because I will put their food in the house in which they are. Your food is here. Your grace is here. Your prosperity is here. People have prospered. People in this church who, who have followed with me, they have prospered from nothing to something. This man like this, he didn't have anything. Zero. She only football and a boot. <laughs> There's a clear difference between his 2024 and his 2020. 2020. Clear difference. I'm saying that there is no woman sitting under my grace who will not find your husband. You didn't hear that. No. One day, a meeting will be, will be held somewhere. And then they will say that everybody should rise up and let's receive the bride coming. And that bride is you. It's you and it's you and it's you and it's you and it's you. If only you believe it. If only you believe it. And they brought them before the apostles and they laid hands on them. And they brought them before the apostles and they laid hands on them. Savagulo Bakala Bradibas. Zila Manikativa Zibadaba. Raduve Azile Kapa. One time. One time Bishop Oyedepo said that 
um, somebody told him that some armed robbers were planning to attack him. So they gave him intel information that tonight you shouldn't use that road because it looks like some armed robbers are trying to. Then he said, Me, some robbers. He said, Archbishop Idahosa has laid his hands on my head. My father, that did you? Do you know that did you? That's Pastor E. Adebue has laid hands on my head. I cannot fear I'm robbers. And, and he moved his car. And he drove. And true, 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 true. The arm robbers were on the road. And when they saw, the arm robbers said, Papa! Papa! We salute you. <laughs> Papa! It's not a movie. It's not a movie. He told the story himself. It's not a movie. Papa! That the arm robbers even know. Shall it? Sha Who am I talking to? can drink your blood. You, your blood, is it drinkable? Okay, the people here don't have, Can I talk to people here? I said, your blood, is it drinkable? Ah, like a, a witch has gone to a party. Witch's party. Then they serve the table. Then they bring Fanta. Then the witch has taken her straw. And the Fanta, no. It's not Fanta, it's your blood that is pulling out. Is that possible? It's not possible. Not you, not your children, not your family member, not your house. They try it, they fall. They try it, they fall. They try it, they fall. They they try it, they fall. They try it, they fall. I'm preaching. <laughs> so as often as is represented, bring your head and let a hand touch the head. Many, time, many times, time without number, when I go to Bishop Eddie's office, whether it's just proper meeting or fellowship or whatever, when we are going, we just go, Bishop, put, put the hand here. Put the, put the hand here. Put the hand here. You, your head is, is full of wigs. <laughs> and the, the woman who fixed the wigs for you, she's a lesbian. And I, what, what did you learn now? Sorry. And, I, and you do have a daughter in your house. So you have brought a lesbian spirit through the hair into your house. <laughs> How do people become lesbian? Before the girl gets to SHS, the feeling begins to form. Where, where does it come from? They said transfer. They said they said transfer that the spirit enters before she knows it. Before she knows it, they have taken their position as a child. A man brought his, his son to Jesus. He said the disciples couldn't cast the son away. Then Jesus came and put out, and the demon went. They, they asked, Jesus asked them that. Since when did this boy start to manifest? They said, from a child, though. The spirit entered the boy from a child. I'm preaching the wrong sermon. No. You are healing us. Anything waiting to spoil your future, Jesus. which entered when you were a child, today we squeeze life out of it. It's waiting to affect you in your thirties and in your forties, and yet it entered you when you were seven years, eight years, nine years, waiting to manifest. If God be God, I raise fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. Out. 
That's why it's easier to give children witchcrafts than adults. Every person who, who was given a witchcraft, they got it when they were told about your spirit is more receptive than you are a child. Am I talking to you? I hear I'm wasting your time. Look at them and say, my neighbor. Next time the apostle lays his hand on your head. In the realms of the spirits. Say, download from the heavens. Whatever you want God to change your life with. In the name of Jesus. The next time a hand touches your head. Lift your voice and download from the heavens. Mama kopa la badibe kapada zazu zali barava kavia ela na manu manama nama zazile babada dada ikoli atadives aruva balala baha ila tatelelehe thou prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies vaba panabara thou anointest my head my head with oil with oil, with oil, with oil. Zaba kapalia taba, zegadiba taba. Hey! <laughs> Listen, now, let me just end the same one. To anybody say my neighbor. my neighbor. Please say it with some fire. My neighbor. My neighbor. Something good is happening to you. So these guys were raised up from the church. Just ordinary members were raised up. And now, Stephen, Nicholas, all the other guys, they enter now service. They, they were ordinary guys. Are you going here? Yes. And the apostles chose them. So from mere membership of the church, they have joined a group where they do, they 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 take care of things in the church. Listen to my statement. Shake your neighbor by the side. Shake Shake your neighbor by the side. Shake your neighbor again. Shake your neighbor. Tell him that there are a lot of things God has prepared for you. He's left them at the top. If you won't come up and join those who are at the top, you'll be crying and complaining. There is more prosperity at the top than at the down. There is more oil where than where? (laughs) There is more grace at the top. There is more money at the top. Oh, oh, I'm, 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 I'm. There is more honor honor and respect at the top. Honor. Is it Nimdie? Is it honor in Nimdie? Didie. Nidie. Nidie. Yeah? There's more honor that you go somewhere. You go somewhere. People acknowledge that you have come. Huh? Instead of, eh, 
Everywhere you go, nobody knows you have come. For the rest of your life, like till you die, when you go anywhere, you are just part of everybody. How? There must be a place when you arrive. It is noticed that Victoria has arrived. I have arrived. Somewhere. Somewhere. Maybe even at a plaza. A plaza somewhere. When you drive it, so Madame has come. Ma- Madame has come. <coughs> I, 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 am I talking to somebody? Madame has come. There are some people cry even in their homes when they arrive. Not, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing. It's like nobody has come. Thursday or so. Where's the apostle? Thursday or so. You see, when, when things are going on in church, are you going in the church? And I arrive, like, when I arrive, whoever it is, whether Pastor Timothy or whatever, they acknowledge that I've come. So, construction is going on, save church. When I come, apostle is here. He would rise up, come and meet me at the car. If there's something I'm carrying, he will help me with it. All that he does that all the time. All of them do that. So Thursday when I came, he wasn't there. And then the workers were working. I came and parked my car, they were working. I came out from the car, they were working. I carried my bag, they were working. I came out there. When I got there, I fled up. I said, Blackie. Blacky, foul tools in the fear. I said, Oh, Reverend right, right, I said, Maybe do you know? You haven't seen that I have arrived. Yeah. I literally sat, I was mad. It's an insult. Insult that everywhere in life, when we appear, nobody. Everywhere, nobody recognizes that a human being has come. Everywhere in life, it's an insult. There must be a place, at least one place in this life, when you appear, everybody acknowledges that you have appeared. Yes. At least, at least one place. I'm, I'm, I'm swelling the sermon. I said, they, they were shocked as how I was mad. I, as though somebody has killed somebody. I said, no, you cannot. I said, pack your tools and leave. You cannot work here. I said, oh, Reverend, I didn't. And I said, no. Then the other one is a more senior adult with a little gray hair. So I was a bit shy of him. So, 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 so. I'm saying that there is more honor at the top. If you don't come up, if you're always down, down everywhere, in your office, you are there. In your family, you are down. In the church, you are down. In your school, you are down. Everywhere you are down, your life, your, your life is something. Tell them, I say, you are, you are going up. Look at that neighbor and prophet say, you are going higher. Find a third person, prophesy to you, tell him that where you came from today, by, by evening, you are going higher. My God, my God, my God. And can I drop this one? Can I drop this one? According to the prophetic word, God said, You shall be above only and never beneath. Above only and never beneath. You shall be the head and not the tail above only and never beneath you shall be the head and not the tail if 17 people 
can connect to this word and receive this word I prophesy I declare I decree by the oil of God you are moving from behind you are coming from behind you are coming from behind you are coming from behind in the name of Jesus say I'm the head say I'm above only say it again say I'm above only I can't feel you say I'm above only Sit down. When you see us next year by this time, I will pastor churches where everybody is a leader. No, no. Everybody must be a leader. A church, I will, I will pastor churches. A church where everybody thinks high. Yes. Am I talking to you? Yes. Your, your vision must be big. You, 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 give me the microphone. Hey, Esther, come back. Hello. This girl is 16 years old. What is the vision you, 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 you told me about? You say you want to do what? of my family and for love your family and for the nation you want to be the pillar of your family and then the nation Ghana that me too I'm inside <laughs> is it a coup for those Ghana a 16 year old girl is thinking about the nation And then what else? You said you would, you would do something. You want to? You told God that if He heals you, what will happen? I told God that if God, uh, like if He heals me, I will build an orphanage for the children, and I will be a lawyer. Be a lawyer. And uh, be the pillar for the nation and for my family. If God heals you, you build. You will be a lawyer. Then you build an orphanage for, for children. Yes. Then you'll be a pillar for them. I thought you told me that you build the church as well. Yes. yes. She was five years and she was sick on a sick bed. She told God if God heals her, she will serve God. If you heal me, I'll serve you. And I'll be a pillar in the nation. I'll build an orphanage. I'll be a lawyer. That 16 year old. <laughs> there, are, there are other things, but I, I, I can't make you say them. She says, She's shy. So. Please sit down. Yeah. Everybody's coming up. Lift your hand.
like this small girl who have promised God that you will serve him. But up until now, you are still in a lie because you haven't started. You have made a, that covenant before. This thing she's saying is not new. Many of you have said something like this. But up till today, you have, you've not even started. I will tell you that some of your battles you are fighting are because you are breaking a, a promise, a covenant made to God. You can't, you can't covenant with God and turn your back and be busy. And feel that now the grace of God should follow you in the things you are doing. I'm calling you to the altar right now. All of you are like that. You have made the promise to God before that I will save you. I will save you. Up until today, you've still not begun. I'm calling you to the altar right now and let's renew that thing and see that after today, let's see whether God will not open that channel and open that flow and let you flow right now. You have made a covenant with God, not just a mere wish, not a wish, not a desire. You have made a covenant with God that I will serve you. If you do this or do that, they'll do that. If you are there, come to the altar. Come to the altar. Come to the altar. God, I will serve you. And up, up till now, you haven't begun. Give myself away. Yeah. So you. Yes. I will serve you. You made God that promise. Give myself away. Pray wherever you are. Oh, give myself, I give myself away. So you can use me. There are more people who should be here, but those of you on the altar, can you reenact that covenant with God? Can you do something about it? Do something about it. Do and then there are people here who feel that you want to serve God you want to serve God you want to serve God come, come to the altar I want to serve God come to the altar I want to serve God everybody else sitting everybody else everybody else sitting you are here everybody else sitting sit, 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 sit. you are here you want to serve God you want to serve God you want to serve God Please come to the altar. Come to the altar. I give myself to you. Come to the altar. Please. You can, you can come on. There, there's, there, are, there, are, there are some of you, you've even had dreams upon dreams upon dreams upon dreams. And the only import from that dream is that you have to join yourself to the work of God. Can you leave your chair and come to the altar? And let that, that covenant and that promise be refueled, reenacted by God. Wherever you are, I want to serve you. 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 I'm telling you, these people here, Parana Subara, Frekanima Sabara, I want I want to serve. I want to serve God. Manu Baza. Palagrine Baziba. So you I want to serve God. And 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 you you even want to rob your children that God many years from now lay hold of my child's hearts and bring her to the altar. Bring him to the altar. I dedicate my children to you. Otherwise, if your children are not dedicated to God, you will, you will discover the issues in life. Yeah.
Come to the altar. Come to the altar. Come to the altar. Give me, leave me at the altar. Come to the altar. Leave me at come on. the altar with my father. Come on, come on, come on. Today, it's just you and God. It's a you and God experience. Leave me at the altar with my father. Come on. You feel the hall with the music. Leave come me on. at the altar. Leave me at the altar with my father. I want to serve God. I want to serve God. You can use me, Lord. You can use me. But even it is that you join yourself, you join yourself to kingdom service that I want to be used by God, use me use me in my generation, use me fill me anoint me, use me and my children and my children Joshua said I and my house, I and my house, so we shall serve the Lord. Everybody at the altar who is lifting a prayer for your child, I pray that today 
grace from the altar will find your child, will locate your child wherever she is, wherever he is. God's oil will find them and sit on their hearts that at a young age, from 12 years, from 13 years, from 14 years, they will enter into spiritual encounters with our Father and our God. And all of you here, may God renew your oil. May God renew your oil. May God renew your oil. I hear the word a second chance. I hear 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 second chance. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, my dear, we pray. Clap, clap your hands together. God bless you. This oil, this oil, after today, 
It's taking you consecrated. It's a consecration to serve God. May the gifts of the spirits, may the giftings and the investments of God that makes a woman a warrior. A woman is a warrior in the realms of the spirits. She's a fighter in the air, fighter on land, and fighter in the sea. Fighting where there's light and where there's darkness and raising up military power against agencies of the enemy and fighting for women and battling. I declare in the name of Jesus that fire, that fire, that fire, that fire is coming upon you now. Now! Shabakata, Shabadelelebe, Adila Baba, Zuka Palia Tabadabaha, and now this young man, Abaru Barabadabaha, now this young man, in the realms of the spirits, I declare that an angel of God wears for you military boots. You are wearing military boots in the realms of the spirit, and you begin to walk the surfaces of the ground going to the east and west, south and north, everywhere, worrying and battling. I declare that today your eyes are open, your ears are open, there's fire on your tongue. I declare fire, fire from God, it settles on your head. what people say you cannot do is what you begin to do after today and God is going to honor your life not by the school you went to but by the gift you are carrying after today I declare that you are carriers of the gifts carriers of the gifts carriers of the gifts carriers of the gifts gift. in the name of Jesus May a fire appear from the heavens. Bring me, bring me cake, cake. Join this group. Join this group. Parabasuka Parama. May fire appear from heaven. Like it appeared on the days of Elijah. And the Bible said that the sacrifice was certain there. And Elijah lifted his heart. And he said, If I be a man of God, if I be a man of God, may the heavens open. May ancient fires, ancient oil ancient graces begin to fall on you right now 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 in the name of jesus and even as i anoint you my god fight for the kingdom wrestle for the kingdom Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wrestle for the kingdom. Adabada. Wrestle for the kingdom. Zadila Dabada. Wrestle for the kingdom. My God. Wrestle for the kingdom. Look at this one. 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 Look at, Look at this one. 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 I see. I see three angels. They are angels here. I see three angels. Rabba bakuba rabba taba rabba ha. Zadia 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 what is a church? What is a church? What is a church? If apostles can't rise from a church, if prophets can't rise from a church, if shepherds can't rise from a church, what is that church? What kind of church is it that evangelists cannot rise from the church? Out of my belly, 
shall flow in I'm coming. I'm coming. My God. Kirk, after today, after today, there will be a burden on your soul. A burden on your soul. That kind of burden that God gave me. 2005, 2004. It's a burden on my soul. Shabbat God will give you that burden. Burden. That burden. That burden. Uh, I tell you, uh, I tell you, uh, this, this, this is what the church is for. This is what the church is for. This is what the church is for. Romeo, join join this group. Romeo, join the next line. Chris, join the next line. Nicholas, join the next line. People who would throw themselves at the kingdom of God. I'm, I'm telling you, if you are sitting there and you even feel that I'm wasting your time, you, are, you, you don't deserve to be in the body of Christ. You can go and join Stone Boys Association. If a church cannot raise prophets, give to join, join the group. If, if a church cannot raise prophets, Apostles or evangelists. Go there, go there, go there. Ag Ag Agnes. My God. Leave the leave the keyboard guy. These people, apostle, these people. No matter what they do in life, if ministry is not a part of it, they, they will struggle. Because I'm putting a mantle on their head. Whether they become the president of a nation or not, they are also warriors. Warriors for the cross. Warriors for the cross. Warriors for the cross. Azaba, I, I, I see almost like an angel just lit a fire. Like, like, like something that looked like petrol and gasoline was somewhere, and an angel just put a, a, a light of fire there, and pha, it just, just springs up. And I'm asking God that what is this fire for? What is the fire for? What is this fire for? And He said, This is the fire I will baptize them with. Baptize them with the fire in the name of Jesus. Oh la baria fazia baria 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 E la coria tarere de bossa bada bada Saka kaba kaba dada By the count of 7 By the count of 7 a fire from God is finding you By the count of 7 a mantle a mantle that's coming Zadiba kula da bada basada Oh radiva kola de basata bada bada by the count of seven, a power is hitting your soul. Zika fal radiva. Oh, radiva da ba da ba da ba. One, two. Set the strings. Para da ba kota ba da. Sati ele ne ba kapa. Three. Eight. Easy apa. Four. Kabati ele ne 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 ba da ba da ba da da. Five, I devise a by the vida. Six, Ila da bakata, Ila zede de ba de ba de ba. Seven, receive that fire. Receive that fire. 
Hey, receive the fire. Receive the fire. You, you, you feel that an angel is putting something on your head as though they are wearing the crown on your head. Putting something on your head. That's the mantle. 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 It's sitting on your head. Kavasu Vada. Sada Dada Vada Gata. Aida Vada. I feel it. 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 And young men are even adding themselves. Young men are adding themselves. I feel it. Ah. Ola Mana Bada Bakata. Hey. This is your consecration. This is your consecration. This is your consecration. This is your consecration. Fire. Fire. This is your consecration. Fire. Fire. This is your consecration. Come on, take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. My God. It's on your head. 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 Heavy, 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 heavy. My God. Receive that blessing on your head. Receive that blessing on your head. Receive that blessing on your head. One of you is being put on something that looks like a horse. One of you is being put on something that looks like a horse. I see like a white horse come. And the person is being lifted and put on a horse. And suddenly the horse is flying into the sky. into the sky. My God. Thank you. It's done. It's done. Somebody has been given an ear to hear. I see two ears on the head. One ear, another ear beneath it. Two ears. The Lord said the second ear is to hear. Is to hear the sounds of the spirit. You will hear sounds in the spirit. And the second ear is to hear. These people will give their heart and their life to God and they will, they will push the kingdom. Watch them. They will push the kingdom. Tirelessly. Tirelessly. Tirelessly women women but if you joke with them joke with fire tirelessly seven thank you thank you thank you we pray thy name oh Lord. we pray God bless you. Please watch your face.
feel that, please take your seat. I feel that there's, there's somebody here. You must give us a seed of 250 Ghana cities. 250. And you know that it's you. 250 Ghana cities. Today, you are sitting there. You know that you must walk to the altar right now. Why is this so? I think you are you are expecting you are expecting some money to come in the week or before the end of the year, the month. Sorry, two hundred and fifty Ghana. It's a seed you must walk right now and drop on the altar. Who is that person? Rise to your feet and come. Rise to your feet. Two five zero. That's what I heard in my ears. 250 Ghana cities. Right, you come to me. Come to me. God bless you. God bless you. There's somebody also, there's somebody also, you have some dealings, something from the north. From the north. Something is going on between you and somebody from the north. You know that you are expecting some goods or some, something. I, I'm, I'm hearing the north, the north, the north, the north. The north of Ghana. Oh, I didn't put my hand on you. Please come. There's somebody in the north who, something is going on between you and the north. God bless you. It's been a long time. Hey, back to Accra. Or you came to visit. Huh? Where are you? God bless you. You'll be back again. Yeah. Come back. <laughs> yeah. My spirit is moving from the north. It's like north, 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 north. My God. Spirit of God. She can never say, My neighbor. Are you here or you are not here? something for your project from the north. From the north. It hasn't come yet. It's on its way coming. Some has come. The rest is coming. Okay. My God. Come, Father, thank you. I don't know what it is, but Heat will not be in your life. Heat will not be in your life. Whatever has followed the, the goods you have ordered from the north come into your home to bring heat to your home. I stop it in Jesus' name. I stop it in Jesus' name. And rather receive grace to even push this project work and the, the things you ordered from the north. That, that's actually what the Spirit of God was saying. That something that's ordered from the north. And it's coming. But that north and the order is also coming with the temperature of the north. Before you realize, no, heat everywhere. Heat. Marital heat. House heat is like you just don't understand how you wake up now. There's heat. I declare that there's peace in your house and the business that you are doing, the project that you are doing, is done. It's done. It's done. Can I have an amen for this woman of God? It's done. It's done. You are blessed. You are blessed beyond measure. 
make money, serve God, prosper. You like that one? Make money, serve God, prosper, live long. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Just clap your hands together for the woman of God. You want to give a seed of 100 Ghana City. 100 Ghana City. Please walk to me. 100 Ghana City. Come to me. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 100 Ghana City. 100 Ghana City. There, there must be quite a number of people who want to give 100 Ghana City. 100. Say, my neighbor, you should to give 100. 100. Thank you. Thank you. 100 Ghana City. Say, Balaba, so Thank you. 100 Ghana City. My God. Skalabazi Balabala. 100. Adin Shao. 100. Can you help me look into your neighbor face? Say, my neighbor. You are looking very nice, so. Have I told you? 100. Lisa. 100. 1, 2, 3. 100. You, you can't give 100. You can give. You can give. 100. One hundred. Listen, you 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 are like third in command. One, two, three, in your workplace. Third in command. One, two, three. Third in command. Who is that person? At your workplace, not family. Workplace. One, two, three. Is anybody like that? Third in command. Boss. Somebody else, you are the next. Is anybody here like that? Third in command. Third in command. Third in command. Come, let me just put my hand on you. One hand. Fifty Ghana City. Rise your feet. Fifty Ghana City. Fifty Ghana City. Forty Ghana cities, thirty Ghana cities, twenty Ghana cities, forty Ghana cities, thirty Ghana cities, twenty Ghana cities. Please rise to your feet and go. Please walk to me. Your offering is taken as Ten Ghana If you are here, you can give ten here, and you are waiting to give five. We, we, and the angels will reject that five. I reject every five that could have been a ten. And yet the person is waiting for five. You can give ten. When you bring the five, me and the angels we reject that five. So, it's, it's your ten. Ten Ghana City. 
please rise to your feet and come. Because when you go down, we are not, we will not accept that offering. Me and the angels. <laughs> Ten cannot see. Please rise to your feet quickly. Walk to the altar and drop, drop your seed in the bath. Ten cannot see. Would you want me when you're not? Ten cities. You can't give ten, you can give five. Five cities is your offering. Stand to your feet and come. Five ganas. Five ganas. God bless you. Five ganas. Oh, yes. Five ganas. Four Ghana cities. Three Ghana cities. Two Ghana cities. Okay, okay. Now I I I want to receive three, two, one. Here. Nobody's bringing back to you. All the boosters are coming here. So, pick up your three Ghana cities. Pick up your two Ghana cities. Pick up one Ghana city and walk to me. Today, airport stars are not seven. Preaching stars are seven. <laughs> yeah. It's the preaching stars that are seven, not airport stars. So, take your booster and booster no, Make it paper booster. Yeah. Twenty... Uh, Two cities, one CD. Hey, Felicity, are you here? <laughs> Rise your feet and come, come to me. Hey, just, just walk oh, to me pie. and drop it in oh, the pot. Come, come. Yes, I'm watching everybody. Oh, Two cities, walk to me, walk to me. God bless you. Oh, oh, Should I come to you? I should come to you. Who is that? <laughs> if you brought your tithe to church, can I receive your tithe? In this church, everybody pays tithe. You brought your tithe to church, can I receive your tithe? Rise to your feet and bring your tithe. You brought your tithe to church. Not only that, dancing stars, they pay tithe. Alfred, you give tithe. Huh? Chief, you pay tithe. <laughs> wow. My God. Thank you. Only four people are paying tithe today. Hey, where's your tithe? Everybody who's not, who is not here, where's your tithe? Chris, where's your tithe? Felicity, where's your tithe? Emma, where's your tithe? Martha. Abigail, are you in the church? Where's your tithe? It's there. <laughs> Father, thank you for this once. Thank you for the blessing of God on your life. Thank you for understanding the mystery of living your tithe on the altar. And that mystery, may it pay. Pay in your life. May there be an experience in your life that is traceable, traceable to your tithe payment. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Please drop it on the altar. God bless you. God bless you.
Please put your hands together for the Lord. So, a few announcements. This week Friday, this week Friday, we are going to be at Accra College of Education for Night of Sweeting. I want everybody, everybody, I want everybody here to be at that program. Can you help me ask anybody, will you be at that program? What's the neighbor saying? Tell the neighbor that Re Reverend needs your moral support. He needs your spiritual support. He needs your facial support. Some people here are not talking. I can ask them, I can call them to say the thing I'm saying. Okay. How about we go here? Hello. I, 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 are you coming to are you coming to the program on Friday? Or you have an exam? You don't have an exam, so you'll be there. All right. If you'll be there, please give, give me a wave of your a wave of your hand. Okay. Okay. It's, en it's encouraging. It's encouraging. Then next the next week after. The next the re the next week after, we are going for mega church conference. Right, it's our father's bishop at the Adi, Emeritus Bishop. Yeah. Why not in the choir? Why are you not singing anymore? No. Felicity. So it's gonna be it's gonna be fantastically brutal. Amen. Will you be there? Please register. Register. We have Bishop Ediadi, Bishop in Tefu, and Emeritus Bishop. That is class captain among bishops. Bishop more class captain. <laughs> Bishop Mu senior prefect here, yeah, Archbishop. <laughs> Bishop more class captain here, yeah, Emeritus Bishop. It will be going to be fire for fire. Yeah. And I, will, I don't like it to be in the house. Don't be in the house. When it's church time, be in church. Hallelujah. Amen. Then there is a prophetic clinic is on from Monday all the way till Friday. We are still on the altar. We are still on the altar. We are still on the altar. Yeah. Then Thursday, we are here. Today, I, yesterday, I got a video. I got a video from one brother. Nice video. Then he 